right you guys I have a new favorite so I showed it to you last uh, a week ago my knockout rose and knockout rose is uh, easy to maintain I'm going to plant it between my hosta and Esperia and behind it is my clematis my hole the roses need a good drainage garden soil this is what I use a lot cheaper we'll mix it Add more sand. Again, uh, roses need good drainage. So, what you need to do is press all side of the pot so to loosen the soil okay see that there's the roots look for the back side okay position it oh, it's broke but look at that so the new rose is coral and then that's uh when, when it's old few days old it became uh, pink almost purple a little bit so pretty right and then there i'm going to build this a little higher Okay, so that's why uh, it's not level in the ground. I don't know which is front and which is back. Is that like that? So. So I'm going to build this a little higher in here. Press it. Oh, gosh. All right, you guys, I'm adding more sand and uh, potting soil and garden soil, okay? Because I'm building this uh, area in here that it's a little higher. Alright you guys, it might sound crazy, but if I have like last $25, I'll go hungry. I'm going to spend it on this rose. I mean, look at that. Bought it without knowing where to plant it. Typical uh, gardener problem. So, I have a video of this. Uh, it looks good with uh, yellow, white, and purple. It's so pretty. So this area will get afternoon sun. Okay guys, it will be between Hosta and Spiria. And behind it is uh, my clematis and allium. So like that. Like that. And it will, there are my, and my allium in there. So, soak it really good. Lovely, right? So, yeah. And it will be perfect. With my white tulips, yellow tulips and this area you know what else 
I'm going to plant another rose, same rose, in this area. So they are kind of across from each other. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Look at that. More alliums.